Hello, I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. Now, in this video, you're going to see me, it's not a strictly technology on the go situation, but we have a uh, Ryobi 40 volt brushless mower. It's battery powered and phenomenal. Uh, it's not a push mower and doesn't need to be. It's so light, it seems to just glide over the grass. And excellent wheels, and so you just, it's a very uh, a minimal amount of exertion you have to use on the mower. But it stopped working. And I had gone to uh, different uh, mower repair places, the ones that the Home Depot farms out to, you just mentioned Ryobi and a battery in the same breath and everybody goes running for the tall grass. Nobody wants to fix it. They all act like they can't be done. It's not something they do. So it left me only choices to see if I could figure it out myself using, well, my <laughs> troubleshooting ability. Okay, so let's go through this video. Uh, there's a caution in it that I learned after the fact. I pointed out so that you can benefit from uh, my mistake, nothing tragic. Uh, it was just regarding the lid, but let's get right into it, okay? Okay, here's the Ryobi uh, 40 horsepower brushless, and uh, it's currently not working. Okay, I should be able to just press the button here and it kicks off and it's dead. And I have done the basic bonehead things that I really, truly hoped would work. Make sure the battery's charged. It is. Make sure it has good contact, that it's producing the voltage. I put a, a voltmeter on it previously. Uh, there's the exact model of it. And make sure the fuse is good. I tested that with a uh, continuity tester on my multimeter, but still nothing. And... Uh, I don't think the issues in this assembly here, although I did take this off and take a look at it. My focus on it is here with this cord, because I'm thinking that um, when my wife was running this out in the yard in, in some high brush that it might've got caught, yanked on it and, uh, and inside there is what we have. But unfortunately that's the part that requires the most disassembly to get to. But I'm gonna take a look at it and let's see if we can get this okay, going. Okay, I'm gonna use this uh, warrior set of bits. It's cheap. Uh, I don't recall quite how much, but I believe it's less than $10 at Harbor Freight. Um, so it's got a whole range of bits that you would use for a number of occasions. And I'm gonna need the, uh, the T30, T31. You can see that. And there are three screws to remove here. One two and then there's a third one that you can see hopefully over there so i'm gonna uh, set this for yeah so. okay I do have to be careful from videos I've seen that there's a number of wires that it's not just a lid that you pop off. It's got wires that are attached to it, especially uh, if you can get a better look here where you can see the the battery port. And so you can't just lift up the lid once you do get it loose. You have to be very careful about lifting it up because you don't want to compound your problem. Okay, that's it for the three screws. And they're the only three I see. Um, I'm wondering too if, uh, in regards to this back lid. Okay, let me take a look at things. Hold on. Okay, I'll also need to take this front grill or a plate off. And I don't see any screws for it. It looks to me like it's just something that snaps in and off. And uh, you can uh, see it right there. See, 
You see that? Snaps in. And it's similar on the bottom side there, but let me get the left side here loose. See that there? And um, okay, you can see that it's loose now. And then when I flip this, here, that, I should be able to disengage that. So I'll do that right now. And should be able to have a comparable one to disengage. Let me go ahead and do that now. I may need a flathead screw. And this is just keep working at it, making sure that the clip is coming out on both sides there. It's nearly off. There's a lot of grass built up in there. Okay, I got that piece off now. What a pain that was. And this is the problem clip there. This one that was on the right side. Okay, so now what I'm looking at is this. And uh, could definitely use a little TLC there. Get some of that old grass off there. And it got accumulated in there. Okay, and then, and now here we are. So that was the key to getting access in there. And oh my word, what a mess. What a freaking mess. Okay, I'm gonna take a look inside and uh, see, and you can tell this broken clip here, I'm sorry, I broke one end of this lid. I didn't mean to, it just kind of, when I flipped it on the side, it just opened up and cracked. So I'm gonna have to look at getting that replaced to see if I can glue it, but one never knows how well that'll hold up. Okay, but I do have access now inside to check the wiring. Though it's hard to see amongst all that accumulated grass, so I'm gonna to have to really uh, do some cleaning here first and get all that off. So let me get busy with that. Okay, I'm gonna use some compressed air now. Oh, guess I haven't used this can yet. First can. Still a whole lot more in there than I bargained. Okay. And let me continue with the cleanup. Okay, so you can see the connections made now, nice and tightly made. You can also see the um, inside of the mower is a lot cleaner. I mean, wouldn't eat off of it, but it is much cleaner. Now, I wish I had thought of this at the beginning, but after you remove um, the battery, uh, when you're doing the initial work, you remove the battery, because don't do this with the battery on. And also that includes uh, the key, as it's referred to. I remove that as well. Um, I should have taped the lid shut and this is because turning this on its side the lid will can easily flop out and it did 
and one of the uh, hinges cracked there. So for those of you who follow this, tape the lid after you get the battery and the key removed and that way you won't make the same mistake I did. So I'm going to go ahead and put this lid on carefully. I'm not going to snap it back. I just want to get it on because I want to first uh, I want to first see this uh, the mower uh, working. Uh, so let me go ahead and get those vital components put back in. Putting the key in. Putting the battery in. Okay, and you do have battery charge, full charge you can see there. Okay. And we're ready for the grand test now, so just to start putting down and Yay! Okay, just a demonstration of it working now that it's all fully assembled. And that's all she wrote. I hope you don't mind too terribly that I didn't show any footage of me putting the lid and the that black plastic grill back. Um, I didn't cap end up capturing good footage of that. That's why I didn't include that. Uh, but it really was just a matter of snapping things into place. Just make sure that um, that the uh, the wire that or the cable that feeds from the battery all the way up to the handlebar. There is a notch. Uh, on the right side. It needs to feed into that. If you don't, it's not going to be a big mistake. You just won't be able to get the lid back on properly. And so that's, that'll be the reason why. Uh, but it was, it was simple enough to get the lid back on. I hope you appreciate that. Uh, in this video, I showed removing the lid. The other videos I looked at didn't do that. And it would annoy me. They wouldn't show you how to get the lid off. Uh, and this particular model of the Ryobi brushless was a lot more problematic for getting the lid off. Later models are, seem to be a lot easier. I hope you like my channel. Please give me a like and subscribe and I'll do the same for you. Until next time, bye-bye.